Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. Blubber Butter, and welcome to Chapter 4, Bullet for Susan. Uh, I just wanted to mention, since I didn't have time to do it at the end of the last video, at the end of the last one, when she was at peace and sleeping and said she will float like a river away from here, before it says, standing by the river, I'm thinking, will I jump again? No. Um, and then it said some something like, um, for I have fallen in love with the razor behind the bedroom, or behind the door, or something like that. So... I, I, I mean, I think that's reference for cutting, uh, or maybe it was reference for a different kind of suicide attempt, I'm, I'm not really sure exactly what it meant, but basically, she was still really depressed. So by making the choices I'm making so far, because I think I've made good choices in the game, she seems to be recovering, but uh, until that moment I didn't realize that I was actually making a difference in the game's plot. Uh, she seems to be getting better, I don't know if that'll translate into different endings, I know there are different endings. And I don't know if the choices I make up to that point actually affect the endings. So, we'll see about that. This is pest control. Did that douche call them? Okay. This looks creepy. Is that me? No, because I had a neighbor, so I have to be in one of these floors. Well, that's just really creepy. What's going on? I don't think this is our uh, flat. In fact, I, I know for a fact it's not. One light didn't turn on. This is looking bad. Also, I apologize if there's poor sound quality. My headphones broke. Whoa. What? Okay, so there's an ex-parasite, right? That's not me, is it? Was that a dream? I don't know what's going on. I've slept all night and most of the day. Why am I still feeling tired? Well, you have had a lot of the traumatic experiences. Also, well, what? Someone's at the door. I really hope it's not him. Just again. sock him in the face. Just pound him. The search bag for something. Nothing useful there. Okay. Light switch off. Anything in the closet? I don't know if there's anything I need to pick up right now. Oh, I should save at the beginning of this chapter, so I don't lose my progress. Chapter 4. How many chapters are there in this game? Obviously, I still have quite a few, uh... Parasites to go. I've only killed one of them. This is the second one. Who is that? Is that the girl I saved? Hello, Ms. Ashworth. How are you? Are you feeling better? Was she the one that called the... Do I know you? Ah, of course. You don't remember me. She called the cops when I tried to commit suicide? My name is Mitzi Hunt. Was she the one I saved? We met a few days ago. You were out cold at the time. Those pills you had were real good. Probably had one too many, mind you. Oh. So it's you. I had a feeling you'd turn up sooner or later. It is me, indeed. A girl, a girl who got in the way and fucked everything up. <laughs> I understand if you're angry at me. It wouldn't surprise 
me if you blame me for calling the ambulance and saving your life, but I had other reasons for it too. Personal reasons. It's important. It's important. That's why I came here the other night. To talk to you. Uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna be rude to her. Why would you want to talk to me? It makes no sense. I saw the ad you'd put in the paper. It seems you have a room to rent. Oh, I put an ad in the paper? That doesn't I, sound like her. They still print that. It was months ago. Nobody ever called. I forgot all about it. I gave up on it, actually. Well, I'd like to be your lodger, Miss Ashworth. Hey, there's another person. You've got the room and I've got the money. Won't that work for both of us? Yeah. I'm very tidy. I don't make much noise, and I promise not to spend too long in the bathroom in the morning. I don't really... I read your suicide note, you know. I'm sorry, but I did. Okay. I understand that you like your loneliness. You stray from people. I get it. But I won't get in the way. I promise I will give you your space. You won't even know that I'm here half the time. I mean, personally, I'm cool with that. What do you think? Do we have a deal? Yes. Yes, Susan. You need a friend. Well, I guess I could do with some extra money, but... Great! Can I come in? <laughs> I want to turn on the lights, though. Um, these are all actually questions I would like to... I mean, that one not necessarily, although it's probably the plight one. How did you get in that night? I'm sure I locked the door. Well... <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. You won't like it, probably, but I'll tell you. I picked the lock. Yeah, hey, that's a useful skill to have. You did what? Look, I know it sounds like I'm some sort of criminal, but believe me, I'm not. My dad was a master locksmith. He knew everything there was to know about locks. He taught me some of that stuff too. Look, I've got this little box. I always carry it with me. There are a few types of lock picks in it. Oops, don't mean to skip it's it. They're very the expensive. Only thing that reminds me of him. I see. But, you know, it does sound like your father was really a burglar, not a locksmith. It's not important anymore. I <laughs> guess it isn't. But what gave you an idea that you can pick the lock on my front door and just barge in uninvited? I heard the cats. They were going crazy. It was like, if all hell broke loose inside, the noise they made, it was incredible. Like ghosts howling. And for a while, it turned into an almost... Human cry. That was probably her. Well, so I pulled out a sea rake and locked the door open. I. You could say I had a hunch. A hunch. Great. Don't be rude to her. I had a hunch that something was very wrong. And I made no mistake, did I? You said you were my daughter at the hospital. You're a little liar, aren't you? How Don't can be I trust rude. You? How should I know you won't slip my... Okay, really? Jesus, what's wrong with you? Yeah, no, that's what I'm asking. Why are you always so suspicious of people? If I wanted to do such a thing, I would never have bothered saving you. Would I? Just think about it for a second. I was trying to avoid all the stupid questions. I didn't know what else to say. That seemed like an easy option at the time. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let me come in the ambulance with you. And I wanted to see if you've made it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, I died in that hospital, if you must know. Oh. But not for long enough. It seems I must have been too attached to this shitty life I lead. Okay. And must suffer some more before See, I all the questions I've been making your answer have been more positive, so this seems out of character now. Why all this negativity? What in the world has made you think this way? Clearly, the only thing you suffer is some nasty depression. Not that it's any of my business. But if you tried talking about it to a doctor... <laughs> yeah, it went really well, too. Yes, I have. 
Did it help? <laughs> Not at first. It did. This spare room I have is pretty bad, you should know. I'm not fussy. It's not for long anyway. Just a few weeks, maybe. Anything is better than what I've got at the moment, which is... I slept at the train station last night. There's a guy there who talks to rats. You should see him. Wait, can you even afford rent for the room? Sure. I'll pay you for two months in advance. Money's not an issue. Why not go She's to a, a hotel, thief. then? I hate hotels. More than train stations. With homeless weirdos and rats. Robbie? Oh no, he's cool. He's all right. And he kept the rats away. <laughs> Why do you want this room so much? Let's face it. This flat's falling apart. It's cold. It's dark. It's a bit moldy. This is the old part of town where nothing ever happens. It's far from the city center, and there are only two buses going through here. And that's if you're lucky. And I'm known around here as a fucked up, wicked cat lady. They'd burn me at the stake if they could. They'd put me in a bag and drown. I'm. Nope, I. Okay. Who are they? People. Just people. I don't give a fuck about people, Miss Ashworth. Good attitude, Dad. I do like cats. You think they'll smell the rats on me? Don't sure be so negative, jeez. I'd love to see it. And I'm sure it isn't as bad as you picture it. The window is stuck, and it doesn't shut properly. It's alright, I like fresh air. There's clutter everywhere. I'll tidy up. It's got a funny smell. I'll burn some joysticks to cover it up. I love joysticks. What are joysticks? I don't think that's an American thing. Fine. I give up. Follow me. You can see it for yourself, if you're so stubborn. Um, enter. Is she not following me? Wait, they let me take a shower? Oh, she is with me. What? I feel like taking a nice relaxing bath. I think I deserve that much. Very much. And then if I say bath, I think I'd better take a shower instead. So, really, they just... Toilet. That would be rude to pee in front of her. Okay, I was wondering about that, because that wasn't the response. She was like, no, I can't take a shower right in front of her. No, instead it was, oh, no, I, I don't really feel like this. thought that was an interesting... Shard to the kitchen. They're always really slow with the people following you. They're like, they wait a full five seconds to get them to follow you. There's the piano. You coming? Here's a spare bedroom. Enter. This room is perfect. For what? Really? What about all this clutter? I'll move some stuff to the side if that's okay with you. But most of it I can use. All I really need is a bed to sleep and a roof over my head to cover me from that rain. And a power outlet so I can charge my laptop. Oh, and someone to watch too. You've got a shower, right? I'm dying for a shower. Um. Okay. <laughs> emo subculture? That's such a rude way of saying it. She doesn't look emo to me. Uh, yeah, that's more... in some kind of trouble, are you? Do I really look like some kind of a serial murderer to you, Miss Ashworth? No, I was actually thinking you were being hunted by a serial murderer. What do serial murderers look like anyway? A scar across the face, an eye patch, rough stubble... Those You're sort of things, I guess. pretty naive. That's about a something. pirate you've just described. Just add a wooden peg leg and we've got a full picture. But well. who knows? I'm no expert on murderers. At this point, I don't think... Anyway. Not yet. <laughs> Is there anyone I can contact? For references? Well, I've never really rented a room before, so... Not really. 
I've lived with my mum all my life. I think she died. I could give her a call. Oh, that would be a perfect spot for my post up there. Um, yeah, sh sure, that'll be okay. Uh huh. You mentioned some personal reasons for staying here. Yes. It's a long story, though. I don't really want to bore you with all that personal. Crap. I have a feeling we're going to hear about okay. that personal crap anyway. In that case, could you give me the short version? Yeah, all right. I'm looking for someone. I don't really know this person, but it's a friend of a friend. I only ever talk to this guy online, so I don't know what it looks She's like. She's gonna die. I love this lamp. Does it work? What was I talking about? Oh, yes. I don't know what he looks like, but I know my way around computers. I managed to track him down. She's gonna try to kill someone. Turns out he lives here, in this building somewhere. What I don't know is which flat he lives in. There are eight flats here all together. He's in one of them, and I must just figure out which one. It shouldn't be too hard. What do you want from this person? She wants to kill him. I just want to talk to him. He said something... Yep. Really I need to talk to him to get closure, you know. Just talk. Are you sure? Yep. I want to meet face to face with him. That's all. Why am I forced to ask this question? That's such a rude question. Also, is this a four that was? Please don't say that word ever again. Yeah. Thank you. This is just. I hate to be a part of that generic bandwagon. You can tell by her personality, the stereotypical senses of emo, which I don't think emo really exists anymore. Not in that way. Thank you. I dress in black too. Of course, that's because black is the best color. Period. I am rather fond of the color black. You've been asking me all these questions, and I never had a chance to ask about how you're feeling. I mean, you've just gone through a terrible experience. Barely survived. How does she know about that? I suppose I might be out of line to ask you this. But I'm really curious. Oh, she's talking about the suicide. Kill yourself. What made you do that? What did you feel? Uh. <laughs> Long story. Won't bore you with this personal crap. Ha <laughs> ha Right back at me, I guess. I did give you a short version, though. Yes, but somehow I can't help the feeling that you've omitted a few important facts. Just some details. Anyway, I suppose your story is the kind that can't be shortened. Still, if you feel like talking about it sometimes, I'd love to listen. I'll bear that in mind, Mitzi. Where? Uh, I am in England, right? Let's go to the living room. The, the people's accents plus uh, the use of the word bloody. Did she say mum? I don't remember. Room is great. So what do you say, Miss Ashworth? Whoa. I hope you're not going to change your mind about this. She doesn't see me looking horrified. Miss Ashworth? <laughs> what? Now I'm cu really curious. I had a kind of suspicion that Mitzi was death. You have to go away right now. What? But why? Miss Ashwood, what's wrong? She might be like someone working for her, but I kind of feel like that wouldn't be the case. I don't think I don't think no, I don't I don't think Mitzi is uh one of them, actually. I don't think she's a parasite. It looked like Death kissed her. You're not safe here. You should leave. Now. Please, Miss Ashworth, I'd really like to stay. Don't throw me out now. Well, you can't stay. You can't. If you don't go, something terrible is going to happen to you. Please, just leave me alone. I was perfectly happy before you came. I have my cats. I have... I... 
I don't know, that's... You were one of them. I knew it. What are you talking about? Look, just try to relax. Everything's okay. But why you? Why would you want to do this to me? You have no reason. I don't think she's one of them. I'm not gonna do anything to you, alright? I just want to rent a room. Nothing else. I promise. Damn, I even swear. I won't cause you any trouble. Okay? Just take a deep breath. Please explain to me what's happened. I'm a little confused here. Then... Maybe... Oh, oh no. I was supposed to ask that one first and then the second no. one. No. You're going to die. I know. What? Yeah. I know. But how did you know, Miss Ashworth? Are you some sort of a psychic? Do you possess some kind of supernatural mind treating abilities? Or is it just so fucking obvious? What do you mean? I. I don't know how you're going to die, but. Call it a hunch, if you like. That's cool. A hunch. Well, I do. I know exactly. It's already started, as a matter of fact. What? Turn to see. I'll show you. Here, Miss Ashworth. Take a good look, because I'm not going to do it again. What does that mean? Oh. Cancer? I, okay. I was wondering if it locked up. What? What's going on here? Also, I've been playing for quite a while. I need to wrap it up here pretty soon. The person we saw him dragging away was her. It's also, again with the. To wake up, my little pussy cat. Oh, that's creepy. Well, again, there's blood like splattered all over the wall. I don't know how he managed to do that. What's the matter, sleepyhead? Had a bad dream. Uh, do you want me to give you a cuddle and a kiss? Is he my neighbor? Take the nightmares away. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue. <laughs> well, don't you worry, my sweetest. I know a thing or two about pussy cats. cats. I can help. Well, he's the pest control what guy, right? Say? Shall I take a good look at this pussy? Oh, balls? no. Wait, am I, who am I controlling right now? Is this Susan? You're a dead man. You just don't know it yet. I'll cut your throat open and watch you bleed to death. Oh, that's I'll really creepy. your body to the crows. Oh, you're gonna regret this, pal. Is that Susan? I'm really confused as to what's happening right now. What's going on in there? Oh my gosh. I'm I don't know what's going on. Who's this? Why does she sound like death? Did you play with this little bitch behind my back? Is she dead? Cause if you did. I swear to God. Me? I'd never do that. You know me, honey. You're the only girl for me. What? This lady here will join us for dinner. That's all. Are they gonna eat us? E e what? Eat her? Take the goddamn mask off when you talk to me. You know damn well I can't stand it. 
And make sure you put it back in the van so you don't fucking lose it again. Okay, okay. I was just saying that she, she's here for dinner. Good dinner. I'm starving. They're gonna eat us? I'm sick to death of them bloody cats. Ah, they eat the cats and people. You nasty little whore, trying to seduce my husband in my own home. <laughs> the crap! How bloody rude! What? I wasn't trying anything. Shut up, you stupid bitch! I know what you're up to. You kept staring at him with these big green eyes. You what? want him, don't you? You think you can take him from me? This is super messed up. Just the thing. I always keep this bottle handy. It's bleach. The strongest you Aww. can get. You give me no choice. I can't risk losing him. I have to make sure he won't be attracted to you anymore. Aww. You won't need these eyes and this face much longer anyway. Her eyes, though. She has eyes. And she sees apparently well. Well, oh, I guess she can just close her eyes. This is really disturbing to watch. No one will do it right if you don't do it yourself. So, uh... That's an interesting cutscene. I knew she was here to kill someone. Okay, I need to find a place to end this video. It's gone longer than I wanted, uh, than they're supposed to anyway. Or is this the end of the chapter again? Oh, I'm controlling a cat. Oh. Oh, is that Teacup? Is Teacup a cat that was originally captured by him? This is really, really cool. It is awesome, and I look forward to playing it, but I need to stop this right now. Being a cat. So, uh, I'm, I'm curious as to where this is going. I'm sorry for the longer episode than usual, but here I'm going to stop. Excuse me. You all have a great day. And I, Mr. Blubberbutter. See you later. Bye.